if you are working on a scientific paper where you need to work in a graphics then you have to go through this tutorial i hope after going to this this tutorial you will be able to illustrate your data to uh, illustrate your scientific data in a professional looking way so in this tutorial we will cover the philosophy of graphics what are tables how we can illustrate how we can put our data into the tables figures and uh, uh, the use of colors in different type of graphics and along with that we will cover some free graphic tools and we will also uh, uh, cover some free applications we will create some, some demos that how we can create our graphics or tables or flow charts in the free available softwares so what is graphics actually graphics is a powerful story telling tool it saved the space it assess the reader to understand the crust of the paper it bring uh, the crust of the paper into the front it shorten the paper it also save the time so why we need the graphics in our research paper we need the graphics in our research paper because it depicts the complex data and the relationship between the complex data because if you illustrate the complex relationship of the data the complex relationship of the statistic and different parameter parameters into text then this will be difficult for you to explain and even very hard for the reader to understand it to reduce the reading time by summarizing the highlighting key finders are trends so they are easily visible as i discussed that the graphics bring the crust of the paper the crust of uh, the article into the front of the reader so this save the reader time instead of wasting time to reading all the paragraphs to uh, uh, such some points in the uh, in the articles they just read it from the summaries from the tables and and, and from the different type of figures or graphs etc it also reduce the total number of words count because when you explain the complex relationship in a text this will need a lot of time this will need a lot of space so this will save the time this will uh, save the uh, readers time too so what type of graphics we usually use uh, in the research paper in uh, in our illustrations or any other document for example we used tables we used figures we use flow chart and sometime we show the summary of the uh, any particular paragraph any particular section um, in a label wise so we also use the flow line for example if we are uh, um, telling a story or we are defining something historically or we are defining some historical events then we uh, can put a flow line to easily illustrate to e easily explore what uh, the writer want to say and decision tree uh, in, in in the decision tree it, it is uh, just like a f and fl structure which uh, uh, go in the way according to the condition according to the logic logic conditions so what we have want to do with the graphics it is especially important that what are the certain point, points which we have to avoid during designing these illustrations you have to keep in mind one thing that when someone click on your paper when someone click on your article he doesn't read your paper at first he will look at your uh, 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 title they will look at your abstract after that after opening the paper they will look at your graphics they will uh, 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 read they will uh, uh, read the tables figures graphics and they will uh, take some crux of the paper so if you have designed a powerful figures graphics and tables such like graphics which will attract the reader which will hook the reader definitely they will read the paper uh, definitely they will start reading your whole paper otherwise not so you have to be careful uh, while designing the graphics so what we have want to do while designing our graphics as we discussed that there are number of formats table figures 
uh, flow charts, flow line, decision tree, etc. So, what is your data and which type of data format is particularly matching with it? Either you are able to explain it easily in the table or in the figure and in the graphics, etc., or, or in the flow line. So, you have to carefully select the data type the flow uh, the graphic type where your data will perfect, uh, perfectly match too large to follow or too simple to be explained in the text if your flow chart is too large then reader will not be able to understand it they will not be able to follow it and if you are table your figures graphics are too simple then you can simply explain it in one or two or in three sentences then explain in the sentence explain in the text instead of putting the graphics into the table shading and bodies are definitely important you have to take care about that the shading and graphics must match the layout of the table layout of the page which you are using not explanatory without text you have to be careful careful if your table is not explanatory solely without the text without the paper then a reader will not be able to get some points from your paper and the parameters labels and uh, different type of units we, which you are using uh, in the paper this these all things should be clearly mentioned in the paper and uh, if you include an important factors in, in in the tables or in the graphics definitely they will not be readable by the reader and uh, unconventional fonts and colors lower quality definitely if the quality is lower the reader will not be able to identify the correct points which you have defined non-explanatory label and use of abbreviations definitely people reader you do your tables figures in the first so the abbreviations which are not related to their uh, to their domain they will not be able that what you have written what do you mean from these abbreviations so what you have to do what what are the tips which you have to follow let's talk about these tips first you have to decide that it is really important to present your data in a graphics if it is really important then go toward it if it is not important at all then you haven't to put design some graphics for the paper secondly if it is really important to put a graphic in the paper then what type of graphic you have to use for your paper so you have to design uh, you have to be careful about that every graphics should provide necessary information so therefore select uh, uh, first select the necessary information then select the best graphics method you have to confirm that your graphics is solely understandable uh, any person who is not related to your domain if you give your graphic to him or her and he easily understand it this means that your uh, graphics is easily understandable should not include the long sentences in in your figures this will detract your reader and uh, so how many graphics we should use in our paper the rule says that uh, this shouldn't increase the one third of your paper for example if you are writing a paper uh, which have nine papers then your graphing should it increase the three pages this is not hard and fast rule and i don't exactly agree with it because three pages of graphics in a nine pages article is too long this shouldn't be like that similarly your graphics your tables graphs etc should be clear and this understandability even out of context as i discussed it shouldn't account for more than one third of the manuscript 
a graphic reds and green colors this is very important because uh, in our society there are uh, too many people who are color blind they are not able to differentiate between green and red colors so you have to avoid these colors overlapping each other because uh, if they overlaps each other the major uh, uh, community will not be able to get your point your tables your graphics your figures must be cited in the table when once you uh, put your uh, all your graphics in, in in the paper you have to revise all these things that either you have cited every figure every table in the text and is it sequentially as as the graphics are displayed um, uh, in the paper similarly it is cited sequentially in the text too and uh, you have to proofread your every figure every table before submitting your paper for publications so captions is also very important of, of every figure every table every algorithm have their own captions so your captions should be clear it should be explainable if there are any abbrevi uh, abbreviations you are going to use then you have to clearly write the abbreviation because this is not clear for the new uh, reader and the people the reader who are not related to your demand to get the point to understand the point and if you are using any unit then you have to explain it uh, either use you are using a second you are using a centimeter you are using any other thing you have to clearly explain it that for this parameter we we are using this particular parameter and include the experimental detail in the tables or in the figures if you have performed any experimentations so this was all about the figures uh, some basic tips to do and not to do tips about the graphics uh, for our research paper and in the next video we will particularly discuss the figures that how uh, we should use the figures in our research paper what are the some important tips which we have to follow to design to put uh, figures in our research paper thank you so much